Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for March 20th to 26th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, we're going to talk about the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the block studies and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen to my Sagittarius is romantic love life for the week of March 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one, Sagittarius. What's gonna happen to my Sagittarius' romantic love life? March 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. That's card deck two. And let's move that back a little bit. What's going to happen my Sagittarius' romantic love life for March 20th to the 26th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck three. Let's set this aside for now. And let's lay down your cards. So we're going to first start with the day-to-day, -day, okay? All right, so we got the Empress. We got the Hangman. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay, okay. Let's see at the bottom of the deck. All right. So the overall energy is saying, okay, for this, this uh, week, there is this energy. I'm so trapped in my thoughts. I feel like my hands are tied in my situation and I keep going around in circles here. I'm so cautious. I don't want to get hurt here. So I'll try to take these romantic gestures, these kind gestures towards them because I'm so confused about where I stand with Sagittarius. They're weighing so heavy on my mind. I want to release some of their burden here with the Ten of Wands energy because they make me so happy here with the Sun card energy. So let's see how this is going to play out in your situation here, Sagittarius. Okay, so we see there's a very nurturing, supportive energy. Empress can represent a, a pregnancy. Uh, Empress can represent... Um, some huge potential to start a family or abundance or money, possibly even with the Empress card energy. Okay, so let's clarify what is this Empress? Bear card. Okay, so it looks like there's a person that's going to be very nurturing and supportive here for you guys on the 20th. A very nurturing kind of energy here with the bear card energy. Uh, I want to take control of this situation, bear card energy for healing, recovery, and love. So we see that this sacrifice is going to be made here by the 21st. But it seems like someone's trying to make a sacrifice in this situation, but it looks like someone is holding them back. Now, the Empress can represent a motherly energy, right? And this bear can represent a father or mother or someone who's trying to be supportive in the energy. So this person could be the one that's holding this person back here. Okay, so we see because of a risk or a gamble in making a decision here, it does look like there's a lot of attraction here, a lot of chemistry here with the Queen of Wands energy. And we see a person card. So we see that there is this lack of courage, strength, or confidence, or there's, I'm trying to be nurturing and supportive here because of the stuck energy and taking a risk here because of this attraction, because of a person, okay? So we can see the person card could be you, could be the love interest, could be a person infringing upon the connection. Okay, let's go further. Um, so it looks like there's going to be a focus on happiness, a happy outcome here. But it's like, I need to be single and available or I need to isolate myself from the situation to bring it into balance here because there may be a lack of equal give and take here in the situation. And someone's really trying to get your attention here with the Six of Wands energy, okay? Six of Wands is when someone's like, I want a victory here. I want to be right. I want to get your attention here. But there seems to be this stuck energy here when it comes to taking a risk because of the fact that I need to isolate myself or separate myself or have a sense of independence here. Okay, so let's see what this is about. We can see the book card is coming out. There's something secret here, all right? Secretly, they're trying to get your attention, book card energy. 
They're trying to gain knowledge to get your attention, okay? Because of the fact that it seems like there needs to be in a decision that needs to be made. There's something that needs to be cut away or cut out and uh, an unhealthy attachment. So cycles can be broken here, okay? So a decision needs to be made. Things need to be brought into balance and a decision needs to be made. Okay, so we see that there's a truth that's gonna come out here on the 24th, Queen of Swords energy. I wanna speak my truth. Um, and yeah, we see next to that is communication. So let's see what this truth is about. The truth is gonna come out about people, okay? Uh, or I wanna go out with you, I wanna spend time with you, and they're gonna speak their truth about that. Let's see what this is about. And things are gonna align in your favor, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune card, so it's gonna be the right time there. And it looks like more communication, more energy is putting put behind this, okay, Sagittarius? And let's get more information on this, what this is about. Yeah, there's gonna be a heart to heart conversation because the Eight of Wands actually for the Tarot is like our text message, our letter, our documents, a conversation that's taking place here, okay? And we see that, why is the conversation being taken place here? Because there's challenges here. There's challenges and delays in the connection. We look about what's above. I've isolated myself from this and I've cut away these unhealthy things because of these delays and challenges. I want to be happy here and I want to have a positive outcome and I want to bring this into balance here so things can turn in my favor when it comes to these challenges, these things that are getting in the way of the connection, these people that are infringing upon the connection. And it looks like you're going to hear from them. There's some good news about love here with the Page of Cups energy. And we see because of ending or taking a break here so we see what's that about we see when it comes to people involved with the situation guardian card energy or we can see that things are going to align in your favor but there's going to be some challenges here right and cutting away this issue of these other people here okay so let's bring it all together because you know how i am sagittarius i'd like to be clear cut on this okay so i want to be happy with you and there needs to be a self, a sense of independence here, okay, to bring things into balance. So there needs to be a decision made here for things to align in your favor, but there's delays and challenges here because of other people involved. Or, you know, I wanna spend time with you, but there seems to be challenges around that. Okay, so I'm gonna go further and I wanna get more information here. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's move this out of the way here. All right, so we see there could be a very nurturing and supportive energy here and a reconciliation or a risk being taken here because of a person to gain some kind of knowledge here, to go out, to spend some time together and to have a conversation about how to end, stop, or complete this situation. I feel like to overcome this situation. Okay, so. We can see that there's this nurturing supportive energy. Some of you are dealing with a motherly energy, okay? And having to make a sacrifice here because of your chemistry and passion and getting a victory here and having to speak your truth about the energy of love or the you're putting a lot of energy behind this. And there is love here, potential for love here and a message of love here. Good news and love here. Page of Cups energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Or for some of you, there's something to do with abundance or money and a sacrifice for chemistry and passion to get a victory here and and there's a truth that's going to come out and there's a lot of energy behind this so a lot of conversations about love here with the page of cups energy so we see that there is love here and they want your attention and there is potential for some of you to start a family okay and a stuck energy here possibly Aries Sagittarius Leo energy or sacrifices being made because of an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and there's a want to get your attention. Or for some of you, I can see another scenario, another uh, situation going on here. For some of you, there's huge potential and you know it, okay? But it seems like there's something about this situation or a person in this situation that's holding someone back. There is strong attraction, strong chemistry here. And obviously they wanna get your attention. And they're gonna speak their truth here because they, they want things to go fast here. So they're going to send you a message of love, all right? They're going to uh, move towards love here with the Page of Cups energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, Sagittarius, and let's take a look at your love interest feelings. All right, we got the Nine of Swords, we got the King of Swords, and we got the 
temperance card. Okay, so they're having a lot of worries, anxiety, and stress about saying and doing the right things to bring things into balance from the connection. This person feels like they want some kind of change here and they want to hear some kind of news, but they don't know how to be honest with you or they feel like there's some kind of deceptions in the news or the visits with the writer card energy. This person feels confused and wants to gain control over the situation and they're trying to be patient here, okay? So this person feels like, and we look at the card combinations, they feel like they want something to change here when it comes to, and writer card can be actions, writer card can be desires, writer card could be, um, you know, some kind of good news or good messages or change in messages because they feel like something is deceptive or they're trying to be very strategic in their messages so things can change. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's take a look at your blockages for this week. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups energy, we have the Mountain card, and we have the Safe card. So it's like, does this situation really, is this really what I want? There's some challenges here going on because someone is defensive about, is it really safe for me to love? So there's blockages in the way of your desires, and there's concerns about, is it really safe for me to love? As part of the Block Chilean Challenge this week, Sagittarius. So now let's take a look at the overall energy here, okay, to bring it all together. There's a decision being made here with the Justice card energy because of love, King of Cups energy. And obviously we got double love here, okay? So a stable love connection, true love connection, Ace of Cups energy. The decision is being made because of love, because of true love, Ace of Cups energy. And it's like, you're the best decision for me because I love you, King of Cups energy. And we see, there seems to be a higher connection here and something that's being revealed about house and family. We see that I want something to be decided very soon. You are the best decision for me. And I do feel like there's a higher connection, a spiritual connection. I'm seeing spiritual signs here. We see the cross card energy. Something spiritual is being revealed here when it comes to house and family or close to home here or an unstable situation here. I want to make a decision very soon. Now justice can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. So a decision is going to be made based on the fact that there is a spiritual connection here. All right. Or there's burdens or responsibilities here that are going to be revealed. But someone's like, you know what? You are the best decision for me when it comes to love. I'm seeing signs here. There's something to do with traditional values and family. But I do love you. Ace of Cups energy. We have an opportunity here with the key card energy. I want to be nurturing and supportive here, and I want to heal this connection. There's something to do with a happy home or a foundation here and an offer being presented, Ace of Pentacles energy, but there's a sense of heartache here with the Three of Swords energy. There's a lot of emotions at play here with the Fish card energy and a sense of confusion here because of this isolation or separation here or this need for independence here from this heartache. So this person's heart is really breaking because they truly love you, Sagittarius, and they want something huge here. They want some kind of offer. They want some kind of huge potential or new beginning here for a happy home or a sense of foundation here with the Four of Wands energy. They're very emotional about this and they're so confused about this isolation and separation. They want to heal the connection for this opportunity with the key card energy. This reading is very, very emotional. This makes me, it makes me feel very emotional here, almost like I want to cry. I'm really feeling bad about this situation here for you guys because obviously this person does truly love you and they feel very heartbroken about this because there is, seems to be very, uh, there is true love here and there is a spiritual connection or the signs of a spiritual connection here and, and this person seeing this, it seems like there's this barrier in the way. For some of you, it's a motherly energy where someone who's trying to be nurturing is supportive to kind of help the situation, but it's causing more confusion. All right, my darlings, obviously I have released the mid-monthlies as well as the monthlies. You can get more information on there. Um, it has love, career and finance and health and wellness. So, and you can also find out about this person's true feelings for you and what do you need to know right now to get more information. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another day or two. Try to have a great rest of your next couple of days and week. And I love you guys so much and I will see you another day or two. Love you guys so much. See you soon.